If you have the time and you can make it out here, definitely come check it out because this is well worth it. We are now at Bulat Menjeles, Marasa. As we said earlier, it's pretty sunny today, so it was getting kind of hot. But here you're sort of like in the shade and it's a lot cooler. And also, if you are feeling like you need a shower, they have showers in the front, right where they have the restrooms as well. So feel free to enjoy. How was the hike? Hard. I think this is where they collect your ticket. No one's here. We're here at the cave. It's nice and cool here. It was 10 Turkish lira to get in and we have to go up a bunch of, <laughs> up a bunch of stairs to get up here. So we're in the cave and it's pretty cool in here, which is good because we get a break from the outside. Pretty well lit, so it's not a big issue. We're to walk in here, as you can see, it's not too dark. And Andrea gets easily scared, so it's mm -hmm. good that it's not that dark. Yeah, there's a path leading in different di directions, and so we're just walking around. Whoa. This is, I think, my favorite part. It's all lit up orange, and it actually on camera looks a little red, but you can see all the features inside the cave. This is the coolest part that we've seen. Other ones look like you're actually going inside a cave, but this one looks like a nice gravel with like lava melted or something. I don't know if that's uh, on purpose to scare you a bit or if someone's got to fix that light. Well, it's definitely cooler as you get in here. And I don't mean just the, how cold it is, but actually the lighting, how dramatic this, light, this cave is. Definitely make sure you keep going deeper because it gets a lot better as you go. How is it? Andrea's pretty scared, but actually um, we learned that we were up 200 meters. We just went down, um, or at the peak it's 200 meters, and we're here at the bottom, and then we're gonna climb again, so. So you do get to a point where there are no lights, so make sure you bring your phone. Okay, I don't know what Andrea would say now because she's pretty scared, but earlier she said this is definitely worth more than 10 Turkish lira, and I would agree. Mm -hmm. It's pretty extensive, but now she's pretty scared. So we'll see. But I think now that there's light, it'll be fine. Yeah, we just went through one section with no light at all. Yeah. And I'm just holding on to Eddie's shirt. <laughs> so yeah. If he falls down, I fall down with him. And make sure you don't slip. So we made it to the end. I would say it's probably like a 15 minute altogether. Maybe a 15 minute walk, but now we have to head back. So we'll see you when we're out. Okay, so we're at the Crystal Terrace and we wanted to give you a tip because we paid 10 Turkish lira for parking, which is not much, but if you just drive maybe 20 seconds more, you get to free parking. So, you know, don't, don't fall for that. Just so you know. Yeah. yeah. We paid seven lira and we got these coins and we're just gonna go in. So we're going to the canyon which is actually a spot where there used to be an old aqueduct and there is supposed to be a waterfall as well, so we'll see. We haven't done too much research for this as normally we just like to explore, but we're already here, so let's check it out. So we don't know where we're going, we're just going down the path and it's a bit shaky and it's just wooden and you look down and you can see some water. Yeah, so that's Andrea's version. For me, it's fine. Just be a little careful. This side doesn't have a rail, but other than that, it's fine. I mean, we'll eventually get somewhere. And then if we don't know where we're going, we might just go back, so it'll be fine. So when we're done with this path, we're gonna go up there to the glass terrace. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's actually a zip line and we're considering maybe trying it. So we'll see if either both of us do it or maybe just me, we'll see. Stay tuned. As you're walking on the path, there's an arrow that points you towards the cafe and the other one that leads you down the canyon. So we're down here in the canyon and you can see up behind me is the cafe. Next to it, a little bit below it, it looks like a waterfall if that counts as a waterfall. Just down here. So we're now going back up from the other side and you can see the little cafe up here. It's pretty cool. It's like in a little cave type thing. So if you want something to drink or a little coffee or something, just stop by there. Look at Andrea, she went out there like nothing. If you remember from our video in medicine, she was pretty scared because this is the glass, obviously, see through. But here, she's not too scared. 
You're not scared this time? It seems more safe. There's more people on it, so it still moves a little. They can hear a waterfall here. You can hear birds, see people ziplining. There's a cafeteria behind us. It's really nice and green down the canyon. Yeah, I think this one feels a little more stable um, than the other one. It's a little smaller, but the view is incredible because you're right here overlooking the valley. You can see a herd of sheep grazing on the grass over there. Oh, you're right by the cliff. Yeah. We paid 10 tickets there to get here and I think it is worth it just to see how it is because you can see where we were walking at in the first place in the canyon and it's a much better view from up here. Uh, based on the pictures and what research I did coming here, it looks a lot bigger in the pictures and like nicer and cleaner but once you get here it is kind of small, people are kind of crowding and so it's not completely what I expected but I do like the view and the experience of it. But the better part is the canyon and going down there and seeing just the water and whatnot. Of course, you have to be a little more active to go down there, but I think it's well worth it. We like to be active, so I think that's why maybe we prefer the other one. So behind me, you can see the entrance is right in this little hut, and then there's a terrace, and then that's the exit. So there's not much to experience. It's like a five minute walk. We're at a cafe just above the terrace. So we can see the terrace down here, but it's six o'clock, so we're gonna get something quick to eat before we head back to Ankara. Yeah, and this is just a basic place. They don't really have much. So we just got uh, some toast and cheese, and then we'll just get something to drink because, um, well, there isn't much around here anyway. So I think that'll be all right. We got our food. I got a panini with the cheese, and Eddie got the one with cheese and sausage. It's good because it came with some fries, and Eddie ordered a drink. So she's pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. We're tired, so we're gonna eat, and we'll catch you after. So today was a really active day. We really enjoyed it. And there's a lot to offer here in Safranbolu and in the area around it. So definitely come check it out if you get a chance. And I think that's gonna be it for us because we're pretty tired and we have to drive back home. Hopefully Andrea doesn't fall asleep um, and she helps me <laughs> stay awake because I'm gonna be driving back. But we'll see you next time.